If like me, you're into astrophotography, you'll have found that this winter really doesn't want to play ball. In fact, it's been complete. There's been very little opportunity to get any good astrophotography done, but I've come up with an idea and I think I can get some imaging done right now. My buddy in America, Joe, who lives in Colorado, has often said to me that if he's got clear skies and I want to use his scope, I can remote in and use his observatory. Well, the UK weather is broken and it looks a bit better where he lives, so I think I'll give him a call, see what the weather's like, and if it's uh, looking good, see if he'll let me borrow his uh, observatory for a night or two. Hi Joe, it's Glenn. How are you? Oh, hey Glenn. How are you? Yeah, I'm really good, mate. I'm really good. Uh, how's it? How's it all going over there with the skies? What's your weather like? Oh, it's beautiful. Clear as could be. Crystal clear outside. You're really lucky. Um, <clears throat> our weather's gone really, Pete. Pete? Who's Pete? Pete Tong. Uh, do I know him? Oh, he. Does he make uh, astro videos too? No, no, no. Pete Tong's a DJ, but that's not important right now. Pete Tong means wrong. <laughs> it's all gone wrong. Do, you, oh, we've talked he, about must, rhyming. he must be a bad B DJ then. Uh. We've talked about rhyming slang before, Joe. Come on, you've got to get, you've got to get with the program. It's all gone. <laughs> okay, Pete. Pete Tong I'm wrong. getting it now. All right. <laughs> no, basically, <laughs> Joe, we are not getting any breaks in the weather whatsoever. The winter here is just absolutely awful. Uh, no clear skies at all. So um, I was going to ask a small favour and wonder whether I could pinch your uh, observatory for the evening. <laughs> that sounds like a fantastic idea, actually. Well, oh, I'm glad you think it's a good idea because it's a great idea from where I'm sitting. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Oh, yeah, I think you should. Okay. What, what, what target are you going after? Well, I'm interested in getting the Christmas tree cluster with the cone nebula. It was something I... Oh, that's nice. Yeah, I, I attempted it a while back and I got six subs before the uh, clouds rolled in. So... Um, and I haven't had an opportunity since, so unfortunately I've not been able to get it. So yeah, if I can, I, I've, I've had a look on uh, Stellarium and it looks like it's up in your skies for quite some time, so I should be able to get a good few hours on it. Yeah, and um, the 447 millimeters on my scope fill the screen up really yeah. good so that'd oh, be a really great image to go after well i've not scope. used the 1600 uh, mm as you know i've got the 294 so but um yeah i mean uh, i i'm excited i mean I, you've got portal two skies as well you know i'm portal six so i'm you know i'm, I'm, <laughs> I'm like i'm getting all the pluses on this deal <laughs> oh yeah well hey if, if um i get to use your 294 and uh and your newtonian then yeah, yeah, of course, Joe. You know, um, if you want to photograph some clouds, you're more than welcome to uh, <laughs> uh, log in any time you like. You know, it's uh, no problem. But uh, yeah, no, of course, yeah, we'll definitely uh, have to do it the other way around. We'll have to talk about times because of our seven-hour time difference. So, oh, that's right. Yeah, I that's love right. your background, by the way. It's a jellyfish. Oh yes, thanks. Oh yeah, and you got the horse head. Yeah, well, it's just something I knocked up the other day. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, yeah no it's looking good oh that that's great joe well look all i need is your uh we'll do it through team viewer i just need the login and then uh, yeah I'll, and then, I'll send that over to you and what time do you get dark there oh it gets dark here about 6 30 my okay. time okay so it's going to be 1 30 a.m seven hours yeah it's going to be 1 30 a.m wow. so i'll 
what I'll most be do is get it going and 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 then I'll I'll go to bed. I'm not going to do any hard work here. I'm just going to image <laughs> with your <laughs> with all your with all your equipment and and everything. I can't wait. It's, it's, uh, this is the life. This is what I've been searching yeah. for. <laughs> Well, that's that sounds cool though. I'll I'll tell you what. I'll go open my observatory up for you about uh, five five thirty my time, okay. and it'll be all ready for you. Oh, that's really cool, Joe. Thanks ever so much. And uh, yep, of course the favor can come back the other way. Just let me know, and uh, and we'll get it sorted. That sounds great. Okay. All right then. Well, I'll uh, I'll uh, I'll see you later. Uh, you'll see me uh, mousing around on your computer screen. <laughs> <laughs> that sounds cool. I can hardly wait. Say yeah. that now. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Okay then. Cheers, mate. Right. See you, Glenn. Bye. So Glenn gave me a call. He's having some kind of a freak snowstorm where he lives, and he's been dying to um, image. So I told him that he could use. Uh, my observatory and scope if he wants to. I was kind of looking forward to it. thought it'd be kind of fun. Use something halfway around the world. Here you go, Glenn. The scope's all yours. Got the caps off. The lid of the observatory is rolled off. You're ready to rock and roll, man. Good luck. Hi everyone, well it's 1am in the morning which means it's 6pm in Colorado. Joe's literally just called me to tell me that the observatory is ready for me to take over. Two bad things have happened this winter. One, we haven't had any clear skies. And two, because of lockdown all the barber shops are shut. Hence why I've got this thing on the top of my head. But uh, fingers crossed I'm going to get some images. And hopefully soon the barber shops will be open and I'll be able to get my hair cut. Right. Let's go and log on and see if we can take over Joe's observatory. Going to use TeamViewer to connect to Joe. So uh, apparently this has uh, better security than uh, remote desktop. Uh, let's get the password in here and we'll see if we can connect to Joe all the way around the world to Colorado. And we have lift off. Here we are. So here's Joe's Nina. So we'll go to the framing tab and we'll get the Christmas tree cluster up first of all, so that we've got the coordinates ready for the uh, sequence. There it is. Right, if I go down here to the bottom, oh, it's a bit of a lag with the. Uh, Old connection there, but not too bad. Right, reconnect all devices. Yes, look to the right there. Everything's come on nicely, which is good. I'm gonna have a look at the camera. Joe calls it to minus 15. He's got a darts library at that temperature, so we'll stick with that, and he can send me a master dart then. We won't have to worry about doing anything new. Okay. Uh, See if we can move this actually about a bit because uh, it's all up in the corner there. Oh, there's PhD2 behind uh, behind Nina. EQ mod running there as well. The scope's parked at the moment. Sort that out in a sec. Right, let's just get this into a neater place. That's better. All right, see what we're doing. Next, we need to set up the sequence so uh, guiding slew to target and center uh, sort out the autofocus in uh, joe says that he can have quite a lot of temperature swing in an evening so we'll make sure that we have if it changes by more than 10 degrees we get a, a real to focus uh, well we worked out about 15 subs and i can do 10 minute subs uh, we want to we'll start with the hydrogen alpha my favorite filter uh, did the every other frame uh, the gain is unity let's just uh, copy these so we get three of them and we just change the filters so we want 
I think I'll do sulfur last and I'll do oxygen after the hydrogen alpha. Okay. Yep, that looks about right. Uh, yep, yeah, I'm happy with that. So let's unpark this scope. And then um, might get an idea of what's going on in the sky. We look on PhD2. Not sure. So my, my scope, when it's parked, is actually uh, horizontal and pointing at a wall because of the uh, clearance with the roof. I think Joe's is actually already in a home position. So that's why I can see some stars there on PhD2. Uh, right, where's imaging on this? So I'm just going to get an imaging. Uh, where is it? Oh, down the bottom here. So I'm just going to do an image uh, with the scope and just see, make sure that it's uh, pointing up at the sky and that the sky looks dark enough before we uh, start the sequence. Put it on the luminance and then we don't need to take too long a sub. We've got five seconds up there. Okay. Then go to image and see what comes up. Okay, he's got multi star guiding on uh, PhD2, which is good. Okay. A little bit of focusing needed there, but no, it looks nice and dark. There's plenty of stars there, so that's good. Nice. Okay. Well, I think we are ready. I just need to stop that. Oh, no, I didn't have it on loop. I normally have that on loop, so uh, I have to stop that. Otherwise, uh, you can't start the sequence. So, everything looks okay. So let's press the button and start it off. So for the sake of the video, um, I'm just going to fast forward all of the stages and uh, just uh, get through to the first sub coming up, which is a 10 minute HA sub of the Christmas tree cluster. And uh, I'm really looking forward to seeing the first one. Oh wow, that's that's lovely. Oh, what a great first sub. I'm certainly happy with that. Stars around, the detail looks amazing. Bortle 2 Skies, Joe, you are a lucky man. And I'm so grateful that you've let me have this opportunity to use your scope and observatory. Um, I really hope that I can uh, put all this information I'm about to get tonight together into a great image uh, to do it justice. Um, oh, thanks ever so much. This is this is amazing. Thank you. So before I retired to bed, uh, which was uh, more like 3 a.m., I uh, helped Joe out with a bit of uh, tweaking on his guiding and also recording a pet curve. Uh, we've discussed possibly doing a video to explain some of the things I did because it did improve his guiding quite a lot. And once I'd done that, I went to bed and left everything running. When I got up in the morning, the sequence was still running as it wasn't due to finish until about 1pm uh, in the UK uh, time. So that was around lunchtime for me. So I was able to have a look at uh, what had been taken and the subs looked amazing. And I really cannot wait to get my hands on them and do some post-processing. So I'm going to say goodnight and when i come back i should hopefully have a decent image of the christmas tree cluster to show you i hope you've enjoyed the video please consider liking and subscribing if you did and i know it doesn't happen very often but i'd like to wish you all clear skies